but uh, one one question is that we were discussing on the last podcast was um, well, Nico was saying one thing and I was saying something slightly different, but in a way, we were both speaking about something that's relatively true because Nico was saying how social media platforms are private companies and therefore they can make their own decisions when it comes to things like how much sort of diversity of thought and speech they would like to have on their platform. Was it based off Spotify and Rogan? Yeah, it was kind of inspired by that. Okay. Yeah. Is, is Matt joining us or no? No. Oh, okay. Um, but they're then gonna, I was play Smash Brothers. But then I was saying, well, yes, that's true, but also, you know, they've sort of like gone beyond that. And then the question kind of comes down to like, okay, so have have they gone beyond that to such a point where like they are now public speech platforms in the sense that there needs to be this this sort of access to like open discussion and 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 obviously the counterpoint to that is like well what about like egregious wrong information Mm -hmm. and obviously the free speech argument is like well most people are smart enough to see that that's stupid right but then the counterpoint is to that is like well yeah, but if you're now you have a microphone, now you're not just standing on a soapbox in a public square being like, oh, that guy's nuts. You know, now you're like, now you're able to figure out all the all the other people who are nuts too and band them together. And then after, and once you get enough people together, then it doesn't Stop. seem so nuts, you know? And so it's like, there's this very delicate idea, which is like, well, how do you, how do you engage in like civic dialogue? that actually brings valid ideas to the center of the conversation so that people can figure out what's best about any topic. How do you do that without, how do you do that with censorship? How do you do that with censorship? I don't know how you do. How do you do that? Shall so we that's start what we were recording? talking about. Well, yeah, we've oh, been rolling. So we don't this. have to, we don't have to do this okay. topic, but that's, I just mm-hmm. figured we would roll on it to, to. Well, did you hear about the, the, what, what I forget the other streaming company that offered him another deal. Oh, they somebody offered, offered Rogan another yeah, deal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So th- they're like, hey, well, we will give you a hundred more million dollars over four years if you come to our little streaming platform. Oh, God. I guess that's and thing. we're not going to censor you there. <laughs> right, right. You know? I mean, right. Well, Spotify's oh. not censoring him either. No, yeah, yeah. But like, apparently, you know, there's outrage. They took down his episodes. Yeah. yeah. Even though. I don't know if they did. It just makes me tired yeah. Yeah. talking about it. Because it's like, look, I don't think it's good to say the N-word. No one no one does. Well, this this was before that, too. No, but, the but conversation yeah, we had last that, week I know, was, that was before that. That was just COVID that. stuff. And then basically right. after the COVID stuff, there were people were like, all right, boys, get your archaeology tools out. We're going <laughs> through everything he's ever well, can said. We, can, we, should, we should bring that up. Because like there was a very obvious, like, hey... Somebody f- went through everything he's ever said with a fine tooth comb and cut together all the n words. Now, obviously, I think it doesn't even need to be said. That's what no, does... everyone agrees. Like, ah, not a good look, right? To use that kind of in any context. Well, even he said so. Right, but like, still, you also have to consider like the way and the sensitivity that people are towards that now is way more than it was ten years ago. Like, let's be honest. I mean, it was quite, quite, people were quite sensitive about using racial slurs 10 years ago. No, too. I know. But at, at least you, there was, there was, there was some ability to use it within context. But even Eminem made that joke, like in one of his songs, yeah. right? He's got that lyric I mean, that the, you'd want to mess me truth, up for saying the word. Yeah. But I mean, the dude, the truth of it is that it doesn't matter. Right. You know, it's like, I'm sorry. Yeah. Is it a bad look? Absolutely. But like. You know, I've listened to some his podcast on and off for like the last four or five years myself. Totally, he's not, I've a, he's to not a racist. <laughs> like, no, obviously like, not. It's and like, I think... it's like it's like it's like is, is that a stupid joke to make? I'm like, yeah, of course it is. Is it embarrassing to have someone make a supercut of all your embarrassing moments? Absolutely. Right. So you know, I but don't it, know. It's like it's just know. obvious that somebody was like, okay, let's do a let's do a hit piece. Yeah. yeah, I know. It's it's sad. It's, yeah, that's the it sad thing happens. about it is it's like if you've ever actually taken the time to listen to conversations that he has with people. I mean, I listen to just by, by way of comparison, like the Sanjay Gupta episode with compared to like the Robert Malone episode. They obviously have super different opinions on how to deal with COVID mm-hmm. and how it should be approached. 
but Rogan sat there and listened to both of them and had interesting questions to both of them and wasn't like, again, and he even says that himself. He's just trying to have conversations with people from interesting walks of life who bring something to the table and yeah. like to, 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 to want to censor somebody because the, the people that they bring to that table, you don't agree with obviously is wrong. Well, I mean, he doesn't like vaccines, I guess. No, yeah. he, that's not true at all. Well, he, he, he specifically his, doesn't his Sanjay, like COVID vaccines. No, in his son, no, that's the, again, this is like, in his Sanjay, it, right. But that doesn't mean he doesn't like them or in his Sanjay Gupta episode, he specifically goes over this. Like they get into this exact thing, which, and he says in that episode, very specifically, there's a very specific reason why I don't, I, he didn't have one. And he was actually talking with him about, Hey, what are the merits of, of it? And they went over data and all that stuff. And he, again, like he was he was saying he didn't get one because he was about to get one and then two people that he knew one of them had a stroke and like the other one had a heart attack sure. so he was like what's going on here this is weird so then he yeah. looked into some data then he got covid and then got healthy yeah, yeah we threw down the four grand for the antibodies you know which did the job what do you mean <laughs> You know, like, so when you, in, when you get COVID, yeah. you can either like, you know, take Tylenol right. or slap down a few grand and basically get oh, harvested get like antibodies the, yeah, 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 yeah. that yeah. basically cure you instantly. Right. And so he did that. Right. Yeah. That's, that's what like Trump did. Right. You know, that's what I, every, every, every horror story you heard about COVID where everyone was like, yeah, Trump got COVID. Hell yeah. He's going to die. You no, know, he's like, just Four got grand. You. Boop. A couple thousand bucks, got some antibodies. He's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah I heard him going on about that. And obviously, and it, it was just hilarious how it's like an ob it's a treatment, and then it's like, I don't know. It's 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 just hilarious. But both both Gupta, Robert Malone, and the other guy that he had on, who was very controversial about all that, all were like, "Hey, those monoclonal antibodies are actually really good for people oh, yeah, getting over it." Yeah, of course, of course, it is. I mean, you know, I don't know. Again, I'm not trying dude, to get into I, that. Dude, I just, I just, I'm just so done with this COVID shit. COVID's dumb. <laughs> all you, all, and honestly, like, yeah, stats are crazy and all, but from my yeah. personal experience, it's completely overrated. Yeah. So I'm just saying oh, yeah. that, like, I, I have had it. I, my whole family's had it. How, how's Again, the family? Fine. They're good. It, it, like, they all got COVID, and like, it was like nothing. It was nothing. The, every cold the kids got last year was at least twice as worse. Uh, yeah. twice as worse as that yeah um but this is what this is what goes to the heart of it is like you 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 know you 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 go oh, well judging by the fact that he's not vaccinated he probably doesn't like the covid vaccine or, or sure. what somebody said about him but this is the exact part of the conversation that yeah. they, that he was getting into and i don't need to reiterate that if you obviously if yeah. you want to listen I, to he, him you know but this is the thing it's like dude like yeah there's like there is the ctc there's the government there's stats and stuff but ultimately like you know your personal experience is far stronger as far as how you you know make decisions than you know effectively the message you know the the the, the guidelines and all that stuff because at this point it's like it's like i feel like i'm an anti-masker at this point it's just like someone's like wear a mask i'm like no <laughs> no like i why 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 should i have to wear a freaking mask anywhere <laughs> Or even presented a vaccine. But Sam, card. it slows down the spread. It slows down the Don't spread, but know? like, but we're at this point where like everyone gets it and it doesn't even matter. <laughs> right? Yeah. No. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to that point in the podcast where I tell you about today's sponsor. Now, Storyblocks is today's sponsor, so huge thank you to them for always sponsoring this podcast because they literally help us make it possible. They also offer a great service that we use here at Corridor Digital. It's the one-stop shop for all of our stock asset needs, and it can be your one-stop shop too. You see, we're constantly in need of high-quality 4K B-roll, audio, images, motion graphics, After Effects templates, and more. And we're where do we go? We go to Storyblocks in order to get those things. And the best part is they have flexible subscription plans depending on your budget. But with the unlimited all access plan, which is the one we have here, you're able to download as much as you want from the site and use it in whatever you want royalty free. It's a brilliant solution. I remember back in the day, we had other options for stock assets and you had to pay per download or you had to pay different license fees depending on how you were 
going to use it. Storyblocks has done away with all that. And they said, guys, look, let's just keep it super simple. Pay us the subscription fee, get as much as you want whenever you need it. And we will constantly be updating our library all the time so that you're getting something new every time you're on the site. It's a great service. It's something we use every day. And you can get started today by going to storyblocks.com slash corridor cast or click the link in the description below. That's storyblocks.com slash corridor cast to get started. And once again, huge thanks to them for sponsoring. And now let's get back to the episode and see what Sam's going to say next. Whatever. Anyways, no one. Here's the thing. Here's, here's the ultimate thing. Here's Nobody the lesson. Knows. No one gives a crap about this, and we should totally change topics. People are like, is this another it's COVID so podcast? It's so tired. Yeah. No, it I wasn't tiring. trying to get into COVID. Sorry. I literally started this off on the tangent of what, like, talking free about speech. free speech on public platforms and whether you guys wanted to discuss that. Um, I was just presenting well, it as an idea. I think to answer your question, the only way to make it work is that have every opinion should on we your make platform or only. allow every opinion on your yeah. platform should we make like you can't just say that opinion isn't allowed or else you, well that's what i'm saying that see this know? is this is the crux of the situation and it's like but it's, again not everyone has to listen to that thing it's like if it's truly hopefully, a public platform, hopefully the extreme opinions people aren't listening to yeah. but else at the same time like can you really put those kind of and I'm not just saying, like, can you censor it? Obviously, you can censor it. I'm saying, can you really expect people to not, like, find extreme opinions? Instead, you need to be relying on, like, people's ability to be smart enough to, like, see the ones that are valuable. And the only way that that happens is by allowing people to talk. Yeah. I Yeah, it just comes down to this, like... I think the the main issue is that people like there's a lot of topics that have shades of gray and very frequently it's I guess people just get this feeling that where it's like, look, yeah, there's many sides to this conversation, but in the interest of, I guess, I don't know, <laughs> get a fast resolution. Basically, there's like a one big decision made about it, about what you can talk about or how you can discuss things. Yeah. And they're like, look, if you're deviating from that, then technically this is like a, worth censoring, even though it's like, all right, here's this larger conversation. Right. You know, so like, in so in context, I'm not I'm not talking about COVID issues here. I'm talking about this as an example. Sure. Right. Yeah. Like the the example of discussing alternative treatments versus just and only discussing a vaccine. Yeah. As an example. Yeah, sure. That is one perfect example. It's like Yeah, but discussing anything outside of nope, vaccines are the only thing we we need to be doing and that's the thing that we need to do mm -hmm. and nobody gets to say anything else. Mm -hmm. That's to the point where it's like, "Whoa. whoa. What? Why? Whoa. That's so weird." It is weird. That 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 would be like the only thing allowed it's in the past though that's not that great doesn't that feel great <laughs> to know that this is all behind us finally that's fine uh, but just you know no i i, like, I, I, I agree with you like i agree uh, yeah like i agree i just it's like the, it, it feels so trivial where it's like we're, we're gonna ban joe rogan for covid misinformation it's like what like i'm not it, does that matter anymore like well it, it does covid it, misinformation it matters in the sense, matters in the sense though, that I mean, people are still dying like I had a friend who lost two grandparents in a week. People are One still week. dying, yeah, well, obviously. So and people will continue to it's for yeah, indefinitely. Like, but but I just don't get how we can stop it. Like, you know, it's like, it's just, it's a thing that exists now. And there's vaccines and there's known methods of being protected. And, you know, sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. And like, unfortunately, the only way to really prevent it is just to live in a hole. And close the door, <laughs> right? You but, know, so, so I was, you took the answer out of my mouth. <laughs> I was just gonna say, I'd dig a hole, dig a hole, yeah. <laughs> like, and it's, it's it sucks. It freaking sucks. It's not. I'm, it's not. I'm not saying it's a good thing. My my concern on is on the free speech side of this. Okay, because because if you if you don't allow the the, the conversation around, like, hey, this guy's talking. This guy's having known experts talk about alternative methods to treatment. We need to kick him off the platform for that. Sure. Like, that's weird. That's super weird. And I just, well, I, what I don't get, though, is, shoot, dude, it's a rabbit hole. 
It's like truly, truly, where did this start? Where, oh, here we where, go. Where did we'll this talk start? About well, nobody knows. Controversial... But there's, there's okay. even the CIA acknowledges that there's evidence that it started in a lab. Are we? No, but no, 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 no. I'm talking about this con- the concept of modern day misinformation. Oh, like that. Recalling okay. your earliest memories. Right. You know, like are we talking about Obama's birth certificate kind of stuff? <laughs> Was you know, that the first misinformation ever? Like how, how the far, birther movement? How far back? Yes, like, I love you that. You start one. rolling this back here, yeah. To like, okay, because what you know, before you know, Obama, we had Bush. This has been going on since time immemorial, since humans could tell lies about each other. I know this you're has a witch. Going on, there's always been misinformation. Like, you're a witch. And let me say, it's been a <laughs> lot worse than it is now. I know things. It seem has bad, been but a lot worse than the it thing is, is now. Like, That's a great point. We have a lot more to weigh and balance, even. Those of us who are very polarized. Yeah. There's many situations in history where misinformation did a lot more damage. Quite Just, a bit. Yeah. yeah. Quite, quite a bit. We don't need to yeah, name any. This but... one German guy was like, <laughs> right. there's yeah. these well, and people. And that's just who the most Trump. recent example. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, most recent example within the last 80 years, Site yeah. A. Yeah. Site A. Yeah. Right. Site, site Exhibit A. But I mean, also that has been going on. Look at China right now. I mean, right. what's going on right. with their Muslim population? Right. So it's like, like, yeah. yeah. What the British said about us way back in the day. Oh, dude. <laughs> Don't get me started. Stamp dude. Act. Don't get me started on the Stamp Act. Oh, uh, dude. Wait, Gosh, do you guys know dang about this? It. Tea, the, wait, have I talked about the Tea Party fun facts? Where I think no. tea, tea meant just liquor. Because <laughs> like tea time was an exchangeable, an exchangeable term for like just a drinking time, a meal yeah. at, at a certain point in time. So like you can say the tea, Boston Tea Party was about sure throwing tea into the uh, ocean, but it was also because they were raising alcohol taxes uh, or uh, specifically like rum that was uh, that was coming from closer to the, the Americas was being taxed mm-hmm. more. Yeah, and so that that actually was enacted like two or three years before the Tea Party. But yes, that was the tea party itself was the response to yeah the so there's a few things stuff like that there was a few things that that led to that and that that was one of sorry, them sorry this is a total tangent that's no, probably them, history but it was we're, we're going there well yeah it's by his, the way guys historical misinformation <laughs> from please please don't be, please don't be the person in the comments who's like correcting us on our obvious lack of knowledge on some of this stuff we're right. just talking i mean some com- corrections yeah, I mean, that's yeah. fine corrections are welcome yeah not notes, not not, at- not like downtrotting us participate add participation some is welcome yes footnotes, thank you Sam. because everyone else who listens will is be welcome. able to just kind of yeah. look down and go oh thanks yeah Here, and, footnotes and, and are in very fact, encouraged we'll, we'll say asterisks every time <laughs> we want to we want to look down for a footnote and you can just add it in there for okay, us okay so the tea party so the first they had the stamp act and then people got all up in arms about that literally up in arms and then they were like well okay maybe and then they kind of repealed it for a little while and then they were like okay well how about this We'll just charge tax on stuff that's not from Britain. And so then they started charging tax on like non British colony rum mm-hmm. and stuff. And but the, and then the colonists were like, well, wait, but this guy's way closer and he can get it to me for cheaper and then I can make more profit. Like, why do I have to buy it from yeah, you? That was li- literally the thing. It's just yeah. like, it's like, yeah, the carrots you grow in your backyard get taxed, right. but the ones we send across an ocean yeah. won't be. So that way, that way the prices are even. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happened. I know yeah. it's literally dumb. Yeah, it's literally dumb. And, and literally well, and not dumb. to mention the the the, the uh, approach of the king and his court, like the, the approach that they took, was like very incompetent. Like it was, it was. N- he was sending these people there. These people were making decisions who had never even been to the colonies, like who didn't had had no involvement in it. And they were just considered to be like this sort of backwater of like, I mean, Mm -hmm. it was the largest colony that they had, but in terms of like America, yes. But in terms of, but in terms of like being equivalent to an English citizen who has rights in parliament, Mm -hmm. like, yeah. No. Like no. sorry. That's that's a different Dude, colonies. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean the British were just kind of so full of themselves. And, they were. And they they operated No offense, with, Scott. We love you. No, I mean, look, this is the British of This was of 300 then. years yes, ago. 300 exactly. years yeah. ago. It's fascinating though. I mean, right. being at the head of a, you know, global empire will will do that. We'll do too. that yeah. for a yeah, couple probably. hundred years. Yeah. Hey, wait, I have an idea. Can I can I kind of I'm going to I'm going to loop back to Well, and they idea. were an amazing society. Like some of the things that they did and discovered and like invented and 
and, mm-hmm. and their system of law, by the way, the system of like how they were able to peacefully transition mm-hmm. from a pure monarchy over the course of hundreds of years to two houses of legislature. One's a lower house, one's an upper house. And to balance that, like a bi- the concept of a bicameral legislature with balanced common law and then balancing that with the executor, mm-hmm. th- that they all came up, they came up with that. Wow. It's frickin' it's a frickin' incredible form of governance. Dude, I love watching British politics because they just yell at each other. <laughs> it's so great. And that's probably why it works, because they get all their aggression out, yes. you know, and then they don't like take it to the battlefield. That's anymore. the common law, yeah. <laughs> but no. Um, you you want to hear a really funny idea for a crew video? Uh sure. Yes. So we made a time capsule. It. All right. Uh-huh. Yeah. So we made a time capsule. We put it in a microwave and buried it in the backyard. We did it. But I'm yeah. being inspired from this Joe Rogan thing still where it's like I'm thinking. <laughs> We do like a, it's more of like a uh, blackmail capsule where we okay. basically yeah. all like we'll blackmail we eat, secrets. We, we, we write one script yeah. that has like every offensive thing you could ever say in it. Yeah. And we all <laughs> take an SD card and put it into a camera and record ourselves saying the script. It's the blackmail. And then bit. we remove the SD card. No one has to see it. And we all put this into uh, like a microwave. <laughs> this, is a, this is like a, <laughs> another we, microwave. We bury that backyard. microwave next to it. This is like a social media blood blood oath. And then ten years later, well, no, I mean, I, I mean, depend. We'll make a, an agreement or contract which says something about like how. What are the terms of unveiling this? This, this, yeah. this horrible, horrible <laughs> bag of SD cards in a microwave. <laughs> wow. So That's we could, a good it's, one. It's, it's like a self, it's like an auto canceller. <laughs> it's like self, if, if self cancellation policy. If you are listening to this offensive message, <laughs> yeah. that means I am no longer alive. <laughs> that means I am no longer alive. No, on this means media. I have bro- I've lost Smash Brothers. <laughs> Canceling for posterity. I love that. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're not going to give a crap back then. That's like. It's like someone from the revolution, you know, being like, well, King George is not that bad, you know, and we'd be like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Probably has some, some, uh, some British roots, I guess, but I don't know. <laughs> what, what gets me is like how much of a shit stirrer George Washington was. And like, when you think about it, and I think the- a lot of it goes down to that guy. So he started the seven years of war, by the way, yeah. which is like a big fucking deal. Like. He he preemptively basically attacked a French patrol. Yeah. All right. They shot first. They weren't supposed to. He was just supposed to like tell them to leave. Yeah. And said they ambushed this French patrol like <laughs> out of nowhere during like this really tense part of, of like um, history where like things were really tense. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, he was the spark basically. Yeah. And he, he was in command. Like that was his first like or one of his early commands. Yeah. And because of that, there's this theory I love, which is like, because of the, um, he, he was very salty and because they wouldn't promote him because they're like, oh, this freaking upstart Washington, this <laughs> colonist, like, you know, and like, he, no one took him seriously across the pond. And do you think he was just angry? So it was like, well, I'll start my own country and I'll be the president. Maybe, <laughs> maybe there's, there's like something to it though. I mean, I agree. I, that wouldn't make total sense. Like how much of an asshole do you have to be? To like basically start a war like that and then create a country. I mean, well, look, <laughs> all, all all great people in history. Sam, are you assholes. are on some today, okay, right no, now. No, no, no I'm like, but seriously, no, no, think, you're right. You're think right, about right. it. Like you're like, oh man, traffic today. I'm a grump, and like, who's the guy who gets a bulldozer right. and fucking drives but it? But that's not exactly that's not <laughs> exactly know, analogous that, to it's not exactly what analogous, was going on at the but, time. It like to the it's it's all about that confidence and taking an extreme act and right. be willing to stand in the front. Yeah, and, you know it's like QAnon shaman level kind of confidence. Well, mm. you, you also <laughs> have to consider like the the level of the level of invasiveness that they considered to be offensive without any ability to make a recompense in Parliament was the main problem, and you got to think about it this way. These people came over here when literally it was like, you're going to the new world? Dude, I probably would never see you again because you're yeah. probably going to die. Well, yeah. it, it was like, it, that's it, it, penal. Know, it was I, like, you're, know, you're a Protestant or whatever, get out, go. Well, I know, well, and, but, then they, and then they separated into their own. The reason why the, the colonies sort of started was because, well, first of all, A, you had like 
the the idea of people coming over here in like almost for like business purposes it's like hey we found some land over there does anyone want to get an exposition together an expedition together and go settle it and, and, and come up with come That's up cool. with profits for the crown we'll let you basically do whatever you want as long as you pay us and a bunch of people tried this from religious organizations and other people and they spread out all over the colonies and like how maryland was different from boston and how boston was different from the south and they all had their own like protestantism going on some were congregationalists and some were like others yeah. and so but those people came over and were like hey so we're used to the last 300 years of basically being able to do whatever we want and exclude whoever we want and not have anybody from the british government come in here and tell us what to do so if you're going to ask us to pay you tax then you need to give us representation yeah. And then, and then that literally that tiny issue, that tiny issue became, became all these other things. It led into all these other things. Oh yeah. And, and then once, once they were like, wait, you want to be rep, wait, are you trying to pull away? Don't, don't pull away from us colonies. Well, hold on. And then, and then they became more paranoid. And then because the crown got more paranoid, then the colonists became more paranoid. And then they kept asking different things yeah. of each other. And that's exactly what happened with Texas and the Mexicans as well. Because Texas was like the Texas mm -hmm. became its own country for a while, and that was exactly how that went down too. It was like two different cultures clashing that would never understand each mm -hmm. other. Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I mean, I kind of, but it's it's still like I mean, obviously, there's tons of historical things. It's a huge issue. There's so many variables here, but you know, it's still like you're thinking about the situation. All right, let's say there's someone you're having a heated disagreement with. All right, and you're fundamentally disagreeing on something, and it goes down to the terms of like, look. I'm going to step back and then, but then they step forwards again. And it's like, yeah, it's not, you're not you're defending yourself necessarily because your, your opponent hasn't thrown a punch yet. Yeah. But you, you start to get to that point of like, all right, well I have to set the terms, which is if you take one more step forward. I will throw the first punch. Yeah. Which normally you're like, oh yeah, America, the colonists defending themselves, yeah. you know, it's so to speak. It's like, no, it's not like the British came and started like, started like a full-on war by just all right we're gonna shoot everyone here no of course not it's like the colonists were like you take one more step and we'll start sh then we shoot first <laughs> right. and so they someone had to have the balls of going like start shooting totally them. you know yeah. which it, which is that like i just wanted that, to when set I say it in asshole, context like george washington being just like asshole. he shot first at the french and, and he sparked shoot, off a, yeah a like it's a little continental bit of, war but imagine you know, kind of a imagine up, it this like now, but. <laughs> imagine no, no, i mean but you're, it's that type of person you know? imagine Not this that george washington imagine this though mm -hmm. imagine this like all right so, someone literally Asterisk. i'm in a cottage all right we're, no it's imagine it's, it's 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 modern day all right okay and a new moon is discovered shit this sounds awesome no i know but like okay a new moon is discovered. We couldn't see it for some reason, but it's there. It was behind the other moon. It was behind the other moon. Okay. Yeah, it was always on the dark side of the moon. Perfect. That's why we never saw it. Oh, okay. This is actually a great starting for a sci-fi novel. So, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> new moon. the other moon. The, the United States government is like, hey, does anyone want to go colonize the moon? We can't really help you do it, but if you do it and you swear fealty to the United States while you're up there, then... We will, you know, you'll be our, yeah. it'll be ours. Yeah. And, and you'll reap the no, benefits. I, little buddies. Yeah. I mean, I see and where you're go going up with there, this. And you go up there and, and it's a hell hole and there's, it's dangerous everywhere. And there's Martians up there who have been there long before you, who don't like you. The straight up aliens. Yeah. yeah. And, and, or Martians, I guess. Aliens. Yeah. yeah. M moon, moon, moonians. There's no moon <laughs> cheese deposits. Yeah. Like lo lunites. Lunites. <laughs> lunites. Yeah. <laughs> loonies. Um, loonies. I like that one. And, 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 so, and then this is exactly what happened. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden. The U.S. government sends a ship up there and they're like, okay, now you need to pay us some tax because now that you have a colony established and you're like, wait a minute, I established this whole colony myself. And they're like, yeah, I know, but you need to pay us now because you did it with our sort and of every our permission. every rock you dig off the moon, yeah. we're going to tax you more than just the rocks we can ship. And, but, by the the way, <laughs> but by the way, you're not an American citizen. You're a Lunite. Yeah. And so you don't, and you're like, well, do what can I get? They're like, no, you don't have any representatives. You don't have any of that. You just stay there and no, you pay you're us. just describing just and you pay us other... however you yeah. want to pay us or you, you, you pay us whatever we decide you pay us 
and no, and, I, and in our one penny no, per stamp. This, this, be a, this, this analogy is way too close to the to subject a, we're talking about. No, no. Well, sorry. <laughs> there's, just, there's a lunite named Schmorge Schmoshington. Schmorge okay. Schmoshington. <laughs> and he happens. It's just sometimes it's, it's hard for people to put things into context when they happen so many hundreds of years ago. But yeah. like, you gotta, you know. Who shoots the lasers first? Dude. You're like, you send one more spaceship here to try and take our moon rocks? Right. Ta attacks our rocks, we're gonna sh we'll shoot lasers if you land that mm. ship. Right. And then Schmooge, Schmorge, Schmoshington is like, <laughs> yep. shoot the lasers, and it turns the out. The Lunar Congress. And got shoot, he doesn't even shoot Hexington the right spaceship and first. And Schmongford. <laughs> Hexington he, and Omega Alpha. Yeah. Thrax. <laughs> yeah. Kicked it all off. <laughs> the, the battle of, of Thrax X. You know what's you know what funny? He some actual Martians. Yeah. You know what oh, is dude, funny what about Revolutionary War and, and, and almost any other numbers yeah. before that? So... I re-listened to that Dan Carlin podcast about the Celtic invasion oh, yeah. with Caesar. Caesar yeah. yeah. And the obviously the numbers, who knows what the real numbers were, but the numbers in the Revolutionary War were like so small, even compared to the Civil War. And mm -hmm. then especially compared to World War One and World War Two. Like, oh, yeah. I people, mean, it was like think, thousands of troops, not like hundreds of thousands. Like it was just like, oh yeah, when, I have when, 500 when the, troops. When the, when the uh, Continental Forces sieged Yorktown, which was like in 1781, which was like the last big battle of the war where, uh, what was his name? Cornwallis gave up. They had like 10,000 guys yeah. at, at like, that was like a lot. That was every, yeah, that, that was, was like everyone that they could muster. Right. And there was like a point, like, I think in like the late, the late part of 1777 or six, it was like right after when Washington was in a bad way. Like, yeah. He had like 500 guys because everyone was yeah. like, fuck, or they died or they were like, fuck this. Like, right. I'm going home. And then, um, you know, finally they were able to recruit more people. But like, it wasn't looking good for a long time. No, the the, the incompetence of the British generals yeah. actually did a lot for. I guess they're used to taking their little boats and s making a little blockade or whatever. Right. And they're like, yeah, the blockade <laughs> will fix it. <laughs> you know? well, they did that. I mean, it kind of worked. They're, I know. They're, they're, it's a nation of <laughs> island warfare. Yeah. <laughs> And they have this huge continent that's and they're like, like, dude, this is a giant times. wall of, like, meat. <laughs> they're like, how are we supposed to, sir, like, these boats barely, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we can barely penetrate this continent with our ships, sir. So <laughs> It yeah, brings man. up a good point, though, this moon thing, because, like, back yeah. to what we were talking about. Yeah. And there's a, that that movie Don't Look Up is also really cool. Yeah, like, I haven't seen that yet. But it's so funny. It's, it's very good. on the nose. It's very like too soon, but very good. Yeah, like well made, well acted. Um, but like the fact that like okay, say there was a new moon discovered behind the old moon, right? And we can't see it, right? But we know it's there because there's a moon guy came down, right? We, if if Joe Rogan was the first one to interview the moon guy, do you think people would believe him? No. Yeah. Well, some people would, but others wouldn't. Then it would be politicized. Right. It is, well, exactly. Are you a new mooner? Exactly. And so how do we is like... Is new moon even real? Like, need, I've never been there. We need that discourse, though. You need the discourse. I think that if you have a strong opinion, you should always look into the other opinion, not just block it out and say, you know, anyone who believes this is dumb or, like, dangerous. Mm -hmm. And, like, if your opinion's really good, then it will hold water, Well, the truth, you know? the truth will, will bubble to the top. Like what? And usually, what's it's actually functional and truthful. Area. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's weird. It, it's weird how that works. How not everything is. Like yeah, not everything is like one full broken down into one spectrum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. That can I think be used. Everyone for... right now, it's just I can't. I can't do it, man. I can't. I tune it out. I think people are starting to get sick of it, honestly. Which is why I kind of wanted to have this conversation because I've noticed, <laughs> like, over the last, with everything that's gone on the last two years, people are starting to get like people are really starting to get tuned into. Oh, you know, I, I heard people say that there were people who were just looking to take advantage of me, but now I really see it clearly. Yeah. Hey, you guys want to like really uh, take a right turn and have a fun little like uh, yes. end of episode thing? All right. Yes. Let's uh, talk. Do we have to? <laughs> let's, let's, this one's a hoot. Have you guys seen the nominations for the Oscars this year? No. no. It is so dumb what <laughs> oscars 2022 rip this is it comes. so funny like i was like Mark the i was just like i, I don't want to say fuming but like my eyes rolled back into to the back of my head all right best picture 
All right. So, so okay. Let's. What 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 awesome movies have we seen this year that you think would be nominated for for something like Dune? Dune. Yeah. What do you think it's nominated for? Oh, best picture effects. Maybe it, you got best costume? picture. It's, costume. It's got nominated. Uh, okay. I think it's uh maybe maybe picture. costume. Yeah. Cinematography maybe. Uh, cinematography. Dune got that. Yeah. yeah and okay. yeah. production design. Yeah, yeah. So cinematography. And word about VFX. Dune. Yes. Cool. We got so Dune. How funny. It's a movie that's a good movie. Yeah. It happens yeah. to have great achievements across the board and good is acting. recognized. In those categories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Is there a great movie you've seen this movie? Is there a great movie you saw over the last year? A Matrix Resurrection, of course. Okay. Obviously, that's nothing. Shut there's up. nothing there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, it didn't get nominated for anything. Anyways. Uh, Best VFX. No. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> how about Spider Man? No Way Home. Yeah. 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 No, I said Spider Man. VFX. Like they got earlier. VFX. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's all. That is it. It's like, oh, yeah. It's like, oh, <laughs> two years of no box office sales. Yeah. It storms in. It's a great film. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, it revitalizes the movie industry and gives it the kickstart to break it out of COVID. It makes a billion dollars. <laughs> yeah. And they're like, no. Yeah, the VFX were all right. Okay. I haven't seen it yet. It's incredible. Okay. It's incredible. It is absolutely incredible. And the fact that it's like, like how can you do that? <laughs> So, so what how are can the you do that? Wait, what picture? else is what yeah, is yeah, nominated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go what, over the what's list. Nominated? Is it a bunch of indie films? Are they best gonna... picture, best picture. All right. Wait, no offense, but before you say that, remember when they gave the movie with Casey Affleck best picture? Oh, uh, Manchester by Manchester the Sea. By the I'm so sea. Sad. Manchester I'm by so... the Sea. Don't get me wrong. It was a good. <laughs> that sounds pronounced. It was a good performance. <laughs> but like, There's more crying. Was in the it middle. best picture? No. Best picture. Oh no, he didn't. Maybe it wasn't best actor. Coda. I think he won best actor. Hey, look, look, listen to this. Look at this dumb yeah. shit. Sorry. Belfast, best picture. Belfast, Coda, Don't Look Up, Drive My Car, Dune, King Richard, Licorice Pizza, Nightmare Alley, mm. and Power of the Dog. Everyone says Power of the Dog is kind of good. It's pretty good. Wait a minute. I thought it was King good. King Richard is not is about Will Smith being That's not the Serena last to, okay. Will, Williams' dad or something. The last duel. That is no, there's no, no yeah, recognition no of not, Last Duel not anywhere, there, anywhere, this, which is really sad because that was that the was coolest decent. movie other than Spider-Man I saw last year. It did have amazing production design. It was a good story. It was a really good script. Yeah. It was an original yeah. screenplay too. Right. It was Written like, yeah, obviously it's based on a too, story. Crazy. Yeah. It's based had, on like true yeah, stuff, but great it's like, at, great at, Adam. It's, yeah. it's an actual original movie to, you know, technically. I, it was good, man. It was really good. It was I, there was not a moment in there where I wasn't like completely in the world that they had built. Yeah, and like, what's Nightmare Alley? Is that's the that's Del, Toro Del Toro's movie. newest one, but, which I heard mixed things about, but I have not seen it. I'm sorry, but the is, last one was like Shape of Water, still, right? Uh, right? I don't know. I don't like, exactly. Maybe it was no, another followed it. But Shape stuff. of Water won Best Picture, and that was the dumbest dumpster fire of a movie <laughs> yeah, I ever seen. It was like literally good. just this, this a woman. <laughs> Who loves to have sex with this fish monster? And Love, the, the you whole know, movie crosses all boundaries. Sam. It's, it's like it's best pick. Like I like his movies, but that was you. like dumb. That was a dumb, 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 <laughs> dumb movie. Can you believe? It? Like I, I, it's the only movie I've I've just like got up and walked out of the theater. I like, <laughs> walked out of the theater for fifteen minutes. I was there with like a, my family watching it, and I was just uh, like, I, I just took a break. Cover your eyes, Gideon. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just I had to like just go out and take a breath of fresh air because I was just like being bombarded bad, with huh? dumb <laughs> stuff. <laughs> yeah. Fish sex. It was literally, but and it's so cheesy. I don't know how it got Best Picture. Like why? What? Anyways, um, so but I guess Nightmare Alley is supposed to be as good as that. So <laughs> if you thought Fish Sex was good, man, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just sad. I'm just sad about that. And all right, what like, else is on yeah, there? Yeah, what else do you want to roast? <laughs> yeah, okay. let's roast. Oh, by the way, so last what is it, last year like Chloe Zhao won no best director for like Nomad Land. Oh yeah, okay. and Nomad then Land. goes on to direct The Eternals, which is like I don't have not the I've, opposite I've, movie. I yeah, just like yeah, yeah. how like how are you you're not a good director. Like, <laughs> well, like, like it, here's a flute. big budget one. But, oh, yeah, but, but so, you, like, you, you brought up it. Manchester by the Sea. Nomad Land's kind of same thing. It's like, hey, we have this really established actor. Let's just do a film of them looking. That at, way at the camera, at, yeah, no, no, slightly like just off, off camera, camera, yeah, and they're monotone. Know, I'm the sure whole they're time. thinking about same something. emotional performance yeah. the entire, yeah. 
the entire way. And it's just way. like it's just about like the journey, you know. Right. Like, you there's know. no and there is there's no conclusion. Manchester yeah. by the Sea, where is the character development? There is none. Yeah. It's like well, you he's think he's gonna he's you think he's gonna get his life together. Yeah. Yeah, and he like fucking doesn't. Actress? And then you're just like, what the hell did I why did I staring. just watch this? And like, yes, looking. but it's real. It's like, yeah, I don't need to see a movie about a fucking loser. And also no by offense. the way, that's the actress. But why, like, why isn't the uh the, 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 the actress Jody something or something from the last duel though? She, she did a really good job. It's not yeah. best actress. Where where's that? Where's why is why is she not there? She had to portray being like Penelope one of the Cruz worst from experiences for mothers. a woman three right. times in that movie. Right. Which I thought was amazing because yeah. like Race has been a very controversial thing to cover in right. film. Like, come on, this is like one of those like and it shows Academy it twice. can stand up three for times issues. From different, yeah, right. I don't know. I'm not saying Last Duel is like the best movie ever, but like it was pretty. It deserved it was a good like movie. some attention. It was a yeah. good movie. Yeah. It deserves a nomination. It's or like two. you go to a concert it's and a there's a movie. pianist who just freaking makes a sweet song and and it's like awesome. Right. It's just flawlessly. Is he executed. Mozart? No, but he's. Good. He can it's, play Mozart. It's the best you've heard. <laughs> it's the best you've heard in a while. Yeah, it just makes me T.O.'d. <laughs> <laughs> I hear you, man. There's no easy answer to this stuff. You know? Like, Spider-Man... I will be honest. I don't think they had a great pool to choose from this year. I feel like the level of, like, cinematic Oscar-worthy movies are just, like... Like, the pool is shrinking and shrinking. It is. Now, now it's like, yeah. okay... We're taking now the best indie movies and like we'll skim off the cream of the crop and put them in the right. Oscars. And then like, because well because there's nothing in between to exactly. be honest. I mean yeah because no one's like you okay, have you got you your Spider Man movies. two yeah you got Spider Man got... which hey it was a good movie and it got it, it got attention. Wait well, hold on and, about. but Denny Villeneuve yeah. Didn't, yeah, I don't didn't want, get I, best director. I don't want to be salty. That. I mean the Hollywood does make some cool movies. Sure, but I, like. There's no doubt about it, but it's just Power of the Dog was good. It, it's worth watching. I, th I think it's a good story. Um, and dude, the score and cinematography did that get nominated for cinematography? What Power of the Dog is that on there? I don't know, probably the cinematography, yeah, it's in every category basically. So. But there's literally no, yeah. al almost nothing in between five million and 80 million. What, what, what gets produced for that nowadays? Mm -hmm. Like, exactly. I don't know. I don't know. John Wick, the first John Wick, got produced for seventy five. You know, million. you know, I think they need to finally add the best blockbuster movie category since they clearly <laughs> don't understand how to like take one of those movies and put it anywhere else other than VFX. Best silver screen masterpiece. Huh. Yeah, those... and stunts, stunts could be Dude, an interesting. They should definitely have stunts. It's like they want people to watch the Oscars. Like maybe you should do that. What add is, black, be, add yeah. best blockbuster, add stunts, and now people might be, you know, inclined to watch it. Those acceptance speeches would be so badass, dude. They'd come in, like, ripping Imagine it Scott off Atkins Aram, up there. Like, yeah. Landed in front of the yeah. podium. You just, you just sunk, and you see, like, steam yeah. pop up behind stage, and there's just, like, three-point lands. Hell yeah. <laughs> That'd be sweet. Anyway, stunt guys deserve more recognition. But I, I have heard the, you know, the argument is that they don't want, and this is, of course, something that they say is, oh, oh, you talked about this already? Did we? That they don't want to encourage people doing daredevil shit. That's you know? so dumb. Yeah. As oh. if they're going to take cues from the Oscars that's on anything. <laughs> that's like That's like when you hear people say that marijuana is the same as cocaine. It's like, yeah. no, you, well, you just, you're just wrong. By that standard, they should stop giving Best Actor awards so people stop staring off at the distance for the whole movie, you know? <laughs> or maybe like, they should, maybe, I mean, maybe it's they, encouraging some bad behavior, yeah, Or, or you I'm know serious. what, honestly, it would help Christian Bale a lot. He would keep his weight stable, finally. <laughs> 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 there you go. <laughs> That's the best That's... response to this stuntman thing. Just be like, what about Christian Bale? Yeah, uh, how, yeah. That's abuse, oh, he's, man. He's committing way too hard to Clint, that role. Is that Clint, did Clint to Eastwood himself. invent that? Oh, Clint Eastwood? No, that guy was skinny. He's still skinny. No, 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 man. not the weight thing. Oh, okay. oh the staring? The, the, the staring, staring off yeah. camera without saying anything. Um, I'm sure there was like a weird European that. film that yeah. probably was silent that did that first. <sighs> yeah. But, but then like, then uh, what's his name? Gosling? Did it? Gosling in Drive definitely did that. And yeah. then uh, case, not that case. Th these guys are now not playing badasses, but like the the mysterious looker. Yeah, the looker. He's a looker. <laughs> <laughs> and then Casey Affleck does it. Now it's like a thing. 
All you need to do yeah. is stare off while there's kind of like ambient piano it's music like, in the background. The saddest instead, yeah. it should be saddest actor. Yeah, yeah, and then it cuts from the face. Saddest and then maybe actor. it's like, actor and then maybe it's something slowly moving, close up shot, and then it's back to their face, but oh, yeah. it's slightly closer from a different angle. Angriest actor. Yeah. Angriest actor. And then it's skinniest and actor. And it's cutscene wide angle actor. next day. Skinniest and fattest actor. Skin fattest in the same actor. Year. Yeah. No, I mean, look, I think back to stunts, they deserve it. I think stuntmen, if anyone knows how to be safe doing stunts, it's stuntmen. Right? It's literally the entire job. Yeah. Is how do that you... is the merit. It's like if you get hurt, you you're disqualified from the ward. Like right, that that can be a rule. There you go. I don't know why Oscar. that wouldn't be a rule. Let's do it. Is it? I just think it's so funny how there's there's movies that are too small to be nominated now, and now <laughs> now finally we're in an age where there's movies that are too big to be nominated <laughs> as well. And they're like, come on. It's like I don't want to do an indie, a true indie film. It's got to be like one of those like. Like uh, nepotism kind of indie films where right. it's like, okay, this isn't, it looks and re reads like an indie film, but we totally have A-listers in this. Yeah. And it's like, that's like perfect for Oscars where it's like, <laughs> it embodies the spirit of an indie film, but like truly it's, it is, it is like a full on Hollywood multimillion well, dollar production. That's what indie is now. Indie has now, by the way, shifted and I'm finding this out entering my film. Yeah. This is going to sound really salty, but it's also <laughs> an observation. Salt, sprinkle I it. No, no. I mean, like, I, I tr it seems like, and I'm hearing this from a lot of different people, all the big festivals now, whereas you used to be able to enter an indie film and, you know, what happened happened. Now it's almost like gate kept. Like, if you don't have an A-list celebrity who, like, is taking a pay cut to be in your movie, then you're not going to get into any of those. Yeah, that's festivals. what I'm saying. Because it, it, It's basically... Oscars light. It's like Oscars qualifiers now. Right. And it's always kind of been that. That's always been a thing. But like it's now that's just like the official route. If you're an indie, it's that, like, yeah, we're going to all these f film festivals first. That's what it, that's that's the feeling I get when I read these like these Oscar lists as of like, you know, the last few years. It's, it's like these are all just like like fake faux indie films, basically. Or it's like it. it fe yeah, I don't know. They're sadder than your normal film. They're sadder and slower paced. Yeah. Than your average film. Yeah, and there's less character development. Make sure there's far less character development. Make sure it's like, hey, we've got to go somewhere because someone's dying. And then Grandpa's you come sick, back. So we yeah. both have to hop in this tiny, right. kitchy car together. I haven't together talked and, like, to my brother in 10 years. We'll talk, yeah. But then you part your ways at the end, but there's really no development. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, you're not going to be friends now. It's just like, hey, remember when we were siblings and now we're not? Yeah, or it's like. You know. Yeah, it's like it's like a family drama where it's like the dad's tr trying to support the family and he does, but he, it's kind of hard every <laughs> once in a while, and then it's over. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know those bold creative choices. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> those really yeah. striking ones. Yeah, and it's like Tom Cruise. That father. really, yeah, yeah that really like whoa. Get to the heart like, of the a, human condition. And like the real reason we're all watching is just to like, what if Tom Cruise was like a normal person? Like oh, that would be so kind of interesting. They, they seem so normal. In this <laughs> like, so Tom Cruise is a mechanic, right? That's it. He's sad. <laughs> I'd be like, that's a good stunt, man. Yeah, Let's like, go. Sorry, Tom Nick. Tom Cruise. Just literally Tom Cruise. We make a movie with him called Tom Cruise, the mechanic. Yeah, it's, and, it's and called like carburetor. He's a mechanic. And, it, and it's just it. a video. It's just 90 minutes of him. No, you know he'd fucking kill it's that It's just him just being oily and being looking at a car engine and sighing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, uh, we got to plug this one into the computer. Let's get a readout and see what it's telling us. Uh, well, yeah. it turns out um, you need a new radiator. Yeah, and the woman's like, it's I like, can't and, afford and it. And he's like, <sighs> and then by the end of the movie, he replaces it for free. Yeah. And that's the, that's the yeah, there's like an old lady who can't afford it because her husband died. And he can't afford it either. And he can't afford it either. Right. But he still somehow manages to yes, pull it together right. and does it. Yes. Yes. That's perfect. Yeah. And Dude, that is it. That's it. I love yeah, it. and we shoot it. It's a little sepia tone, you know. Yeah. Shoot it twenty one nine for no reason. Not really do anything mm. with the frame. Just and we'll sort use of shoot a bold it wide. Choice where we set the focus for every shot, and then we never change it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. As we like do the take, we just bold. we just lock focus, <laughs> fix focus. <laughs> Sorry. And Dude, that thank way you for listening to my favorite <laughs> podcast we've done in a while. Have you guys noticed the like over the shoulder framing now of yeah. all these avant garde movies? Is right. like 
they keep like the background framed up and then like the character who's talking mm-hmm. who's framed up is like on the right of the frame and they're mm-hmm. looking off yeah. to the right yeah. I mean, that's been a thing for a while it's so it's annoying, so annoying. it's like i don't want to look at the out of focus background anyway this is the saltiest podcast but you know what it's sometimes like therapy, you gotta man. get sometimes you gotta yeah. get salty well, thanks for getting salty with us yeah and uh leave if, some, if leave there some... are any um constructive asterisks you guys would like to leave in the comments oh, yeah. please feel free we encourage constructive conversation like around here for our salt you know it balances yeah. us out yeah, any alternative COVID treatments that would be uh, uh, highly <laughs> recommended as well, too. Oh just, I'm just curious. <laughs> just asking uh, for a friend. All right, well, hey, thanks for listening, everybody. Um, this week also, actually, by the time this comes out, we have just finished our second week of photography on Son of a Dungeon. So oh my huge gosh. thanks to everyone oh on Greenlight who made that possible. We are, We cannot wait to get the second season out there. Oh, it's yeah. going to be... It'll be so much fun. It'll be very shiny and crisp. That's right. Dude, this will be delicious, but for your eyes. Yes. <laughs> so, I guess I'll On play us out. Play us out. Dun, dun, dun. We didn't even have an intro for this. Ooh. It's a lullaby. It's one of those. Opening theme for the mechanic. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> it's going to be called Shift. Car broke down again. <laughs> Hey, Paul, this is Sherry. Uh, you haven't returned yes. my call. Look, it's just give me the dang child support check, okay? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's in the 90s. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the 90s, of course. No, early 2000s early is like 2000s. the new 90s. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the answering machine. Daddy, where's your car? Broke down on the way to school. Sorry, we're going to have to walk. You're a mechanic and you don't even have a car that works? Now, now, yeah, like the, the little sexy daughter. Yeah. This is embarrassing. I don't even I want to walk with you, Dad. I just want to live my life. And it comes to him like, dun, dun, dun. Shut up. She's like up. revving a car. There's like one scene where he does donuts yeah, alone. Yeah, And he's just like slumming. He's like drinking and, do, drinking doing and his donuts. Hands, he's feeling the breeze, feeling what it was like to be alive. He probably hits a deer with his and car. That's the last shot, and then it goes. It's kind of scary. Shift. Shift. Starring Tom Cruise. He, he lost over a hundred pounds for this role. <laughs> oh yeah, we forgot to mention. He's he's ninety pounds. Dude. He's ninety pounds. Dude. He's literally he almost died for this role, dude. Oh, all right. He had puppeteers. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. All right. That's See you guys later. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Um.